Grand Rapids Public Schools has at least one option to try to stop a possible state takeover of Union High School. That after teachers and administrators could not come to an agreement on steps to reform the school. 24 Hour News 8's Tony Tullivia is live at the high school with that and the millions of dollars that are at stake down the line. Tony. Good evening, Brian and Susie. Grand Rapids Public Schools could appeal to the Michigan Superintendent of Public Schools if, in fact, the state moves to take over Union High. I don't think it would be good. As the parent of two students at Union High School, Mickey Carter says he thinks the school could do better. But if the state took it over, why would we have? For now, the state will review GRPS's Union High reform plan. It does not include a key agreement between teachers and administrators that's required as part of the reform plan GRPS picked. Teachers union leaders say not enough money would float to classrooms. They say they want smaller class sizes. But the district spokesman says the state is not requiring districts to address class size in these reforms. District leaders say their plans do include hiring more teachers and paying teachers at five low achieving schools more to work more hours. So could teachers and administrators get more time to make a deal? We asked the governor about the deadline. So it's not an idle threat. It's in the law. They have to submit a plan. Is there any legal way, though, for an extension to be granted, or do you believe there's not? For that, she directed us to education officials. Department of Education spokesman Martin Ackley says the state school redesign officer has 30 days to review the GRPS plan. Without a required teacher agreement, he says he doesn't see how it could be approved. But, he says... That is up to the redesign officer, though her hands are tied by state law. If they are disapproved, then the local school districts can appeal to the state superintendent of public instruction. That's what the law says. GRPS is also in line for more than $24 million in federal funds to help reform Union High School and four other GRPS schools now. The district does have to come to that agreement with teachers in order to get access to those funds. But that agreement and implementation of those reforms can come any time during this current school year and was not directly tied to yesterday's deadline. We'll be following both of those situations. Live at Union High School, Tony Talgavia, 24-Hour News 8.